Hi, this is Bob working on the uh, DSB transceiver from uh, QRP guys. And uh, I have mounted quite a few of the larger components on here, like these capacitors. Got those mounted on there now. And I was just uh, looking at the uh, finals, mounting the transistors, and I mounted the three finals on here. I just folded them over like that and soldered them in. Now to solder them in was quite easy because I'm trying to do this one-handed. I clipped on each one like that with an alligator clip. I had three alligator clips on here. Got the alligator clips on and soldered the leads underneath. That way everything fit nice and flat to the board. Now, before I put the alligator clips on, I got ahead of myself, before I put the alligator clips on, I took this nifty little bitty screwdriver and I lifted each transistor up and I put a small dab of white heat sink compound underneath each of the final transistors here. All three of these final transistors are BS170s and they're all in parallel. I also made sure that each one of these BS170 transistors, you can't see it there, but if you take a magnifying glass, you will see they are all of the same batch. So I wanted to be certain that these three finals were all of the same batch because that way their characteristics will be as closely matched as we can get in this situation. So I wanted those matched as close as possible. So we have the three transistors in here now and I folded them back just a little bit. I put a dot of white heat sink compound under each one. I dug around in the junk and I was very happy to find this. This is a piece of 50 thousandths thick copper. And it was already that length. And I marked the holes so that I can bolt that over the top. I'm going to bolt it with these 440 screws, half inch long. And then I'm going to put two split ring lock washers under each nut. I'm going to have the nuts on the top here with the heads of the bolts coming up from the bottom under the circuit board. But I'm going to put two of these on each one on each side and then I'm going to tighten the nuts just tight enough to compress those split ring lock washers which will then act as compression springs and keep a tension on the three final transistors. So I have uh, added the heat sink compound, which I think will be an improvement under each one. And then I will have this uh, continual compression and this piece of copper, which copper is a better conductor, certainly than a paper clip. So uh, that's what I'm doing here now. And I'm uh, going to finish that up. But I wanted to show you what I was doing and how I did it. So this is part three of the assembly of the QRP guys DSB transceiver 73's and good DX